And welcome back to Ace of Vegas, Spinners and Sharks. Today we are going to go to the underworld. I feel like there's a Percy Jackson joke here. Let's see if we can find one. You're Hades? Yes. I didn't expect you to look like this, man. Would you prefer that I looked like this? Whoa, oh, whoa. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Well, Spinners and Sharks, looks like we're going to be putting about... Let's go ahead and do some calculations over here. I'm thinking that we can put a solid 150 million chips through the machine over here and see how we do. Let's go ahead and put 100 spins on the clock over here. On your mark, get set, ready, and go. Okay, so doing the Riches of the Underworld game over here, looks like we are going to take a dive into uh, Greek mythology. So I'm not sure if you guys know anything about the legends of the underworld there. So Hades, one of the three elder Greek gods, uh, ancient uh, Greek gods, I was going to say ancient Egyptian, but uh, you know, he's Greek, and that's the thing. Um, th this is basically the story, uh, it looks like this is actually the story of how he met his wife Persephone, who he tricked into the underworld, uh, Persephone, daughter of Demeter, one of the, uh, twelve Olympians, one of the most powerful gods, and the pantheon right there, and also one of the heavy hitters, uh, her daughter Persephone ended up marrying Hades because he tricked her down into the underworld, and because she got stuck, she just decided to go ahead and stick with him there. And that's just basically how that worked out. Uh, that's some really unfortunate implications, I'm afraid, but, you know, that's just kind of the way that Greek mythology was. It's a bit of a mess. And looking at this, this looks like it's got a more uh, Herculean take on the whole thing there. Hades is uh, hes definitely the villain in this particular story. He's not usually just the villain villain in most of Greek mythology, but... Well, you know. He's not a heroic character in this particular instance, but it's very rare that the Greek gods were uh, heroic characters in general. That's why they had to have individual heroes, and man, this game over here, it's not doing great with us, but we are just killing this 7th uh, anniversary Mandalay Bay Surf's Up contest over here, so I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but uh, my Vegas slots just turned 7. It's been about 7 years since they started doing this. And it looks like they have a nice little version of, uh, oh, look at these wilds over here. So we got, uh, looks like we got Demeter, uh, goddess of the harvest and wheat and all that, um, hugging Persephone, the queen of the underworld and wife of Hades here. And that, that looks like it's going to be our, our, uh, wild there, because that's, uh, when they reunite. And I think, uh, it's because Persephone is like the goddess of fall or something like that something about the harvest i can't remember exactly which goddess she is but she, it has something to do with that and that's why she's gone out of the underworld like uh, no i think she's the goddess of spring that's what it is yeah i swear she's the goddess of spring i'm gonna have to check that out but there's a reason that um she's not you know it, it has something to do with summer and fall and all that she's not supposed to be on earth or in uh, olympus that part she's the goddess of uh vegetation that's right she's a goddess of vegetation so she's really closely associated with the harvest like Demeter is and that's a whole whole big thing right there so oh let's see if we get any good spins on or any good bonuses on these spins over here I feel like we're just doing a whole bunch of spins and not getting anywhere I don't know I'm thinking about this and I'm trying to remember exactly how the how the legend goes and there's so many different versions of these ancient Greek myths over here, it's hard to keep track of them all. So, I don't know. Gonna have to count that out another way. Gonna have to get that one figured out. But it is cool to have an ancient Greek, uh, themed little game over here, because I've always wanted, like, an ancient Greek casino. I mean, I know Caesars is like a Roman casino and all that, but I've always wanted one where, you know, the, the Hercules Hotel and Casino, I've always really thought about having that, and I think that would be really great. Um, Greek mythology is probably my favorite, uh, my favorite little module or course in history class. I always just found it fascinating. I'm not sure if you guys are fans of uh, the Percy Jackson books. It's like the uh, ancient Greek counterpart to Harry Potter, and I just think it's a blast. The movie was terrible, unfortunately, and I think I used a clip of that a little earlier in the video, and I wouldn't recommend watching it. It's just not very strong. It's a, it's a very weak film. Both of them are. The second one's slightly better than the first one, but that's not saying much. Uh, especially since they do a lot of a lot of tell, not show, and I just have a, a lot of trouble with adaptations now. Like, we're really struggling with this Birds of Prey adaptation. I'll tell you about that in a minute. 
But uh, yeah, the Percy Jackson movies just were not strong films, and that thoroughly depressed me because I was a big fan of that growing up. Um, you know, because I did like that kind of Harry Potter sort of stuff, the Artemis Fowl, and uh, you know, Percy Jackson was another kind of similar take on the you know the young boy hero because it was definitely a I was definitely a young boy reading those, and you know, just reading about you know. Reading about a guy that was kind of like me, wasn't super great at school or anything like that. I mean, I, I was always smart enough, but I didn't always put all the effort into it. I always had trouble focusing, so he was a character that uh, really spoke to me. And it, it was really sad to see the movie done in such a harsh light and so, done so badly. So, I don't know. Man, these wins are so bad over here. These are not proportionately done wins. I feel like we're like 60 something spins into this and we're just suffering here. This is such a bad game, guys. I'm so sorry about this. I was hoping this would be a little better, hoping it was going to be a little more interesting. You know what it kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of Screaming Eagles because they just kind of drop uh, wilds in the middle everywhere. And there's no hope in, uh, well, pardon the pun, no hope in the underworld of us. Uh, <laughs> getting uh getting a win here i mean i'm looking at cerberus over here and he's just and he's just looking unfriendly i think he's actually guarding the winds he's supposed to be guarding the underworld so that's making me sad the birds of prey adaptation is making me really sad too because i keep looking at that and there is no sign of oracle or batgirl in it which wouldn't bother me so much everyone's so always like yeah yeah it's a harley quinn movie it's great she's a she wasn't a bird of prey that bothers me so much I have no idea why in space people think that she's a member of the Birds of Prey, or why these studio executives decided to make her the main character in this uh, sh in this uh, movie when it's supposed to be about Barbara Gordon. It's supposed to be about Batgirl uh, getting over, you know, being paralyzed and becoming a superhero in her own right, uh, just you know, casting aside the mantle of sidekick um, of, of being Batgirl and being a, her own hero and using her abilities and leadership and her detective skills, her wits, and you know, just you know, her computer skills to save the day despite uh, you know, despite being paralyzed and not having. All the abilities she used to have, like you know, all the agility and all that, all the crazy stuff that she was used to being able to do. I don't know. Movies are really disappointing me, and so is this game today, guys. I'm so sorry about this. This is such a pitiful payback percentage. I'm hoping that these next uh, ten spins are a little bit stronger here, because this is looking really weak. I'd very much like to just get like one good uh, spin in over here, but we're just uh, we're just hurting. And I think we only got like five more. And I don't know why we haven't gotten any we haven't gotten any free spins. We haven't gotten the bonus or anything like that yet. We're ripping up the LPs over here, and that's all we got going. I think we only got like three uh three wins left. Even Hades is looking disappointed over here. Hades in the blue. Alright, let's go ahead and uh you know, I'm gonna go ahead and give it one more spin over here, see how we do, and let's go. Come on, give us a bonus. Give us that bonus. Nothing. All right, sorry about that, guys. So we're going to go ahead and do some maths anyway just to see how we did today, and then I'll uh, count up the booty and let you know how good a game it is. All right, guys, and we're back. So <laughs> looks like the underworld is exactly where this game needs to stay. Despite the good as design aesthetic and the cool theming and all that, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is actually one of the worst games to play in my Vegas. Riches of the Underworld yielded a payback percentage of 49.43%. That is so weak. We're going to have to turn the page over here and see if there's anything else interesting. Uh, looks like we got a repeat from Yellow Brick Reels coming over here. Uh, Toto's Tale. Uh, Toto, you know, being the, uh, the you know, Dorothy's uh, trusty animal sidekick, her dog in Wizard of Oz. And, you know, we played, I feel like we played Yellow Brick Reels before. I play it a lot in pop slots myself here. So maybe this will do a little better for us. So we'll look forward to that next time. Until next time, my friends, Ace of Vegas is signing out strong hands and happy spinning, you guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.